What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's White Gamer, and we got the first major update coming to EAFC 24. It is coming out on Monday, October 16th on PC, and then on Tuesday, October 17th on consoles. First thing we're talking about is clubs. So, guys, finally, all of you guys have been waiting for it, even myself. They're finally going to fix the drop in issues, guys. Where everyone were having issues when they found a game that the match wouldn't start, and they would say lost connection to opponent. That is finally being fixed, guys. This bug's been going on since actually the beta. Not even since the full release of this game, since the beta. So they're finally going to get that sorted out, guys. So you can finally grind. Hopefully, there's no more issues on that throughout the entire year. And you guys can play drop-ins. But yes, guys, drop-ins are finally being fixed. The next thing is, after you finish a match, sometimes when uh, it gives you the match rating that you got and the amount of XP, sometimes it would be glitched. It would show 0, 0, 0. That, that was like a visual glitch. So that's finally getting fixed as well. Another thing is at the end of the match, the stability issue. Sometimes your game would be stuck on the stadium screen towards the end. And then you would have to quit. And then that would hurt your XP and your match rating. And it was really, really bad. That's finally going to get fixed. That issue actually has been going on since last year, I believe. So hopefully all these issues that are being fixed truly do get fixed. So we don't have to worry about these no more throughout the entire year. The next thing is not a major fix or a major issue, but sometimes the club leaderboard didn't always display information if the player accessing it was not part of a club. It wouldn't show you like your stats if you were in a club in the leaderboard. Not a big issue, but got fixed. And then for the skill games, incorrectly, the base attributes of the virtual pros. So when you were doing your skill games, it would say you wouldn't have like your stats boosted or nothing like that. It would just show you like your base 80 rated stats. That got fixed. I didn't even know that was an issue. And finally, sometimes people would have their pro in the menu and they would have like the wrong kit, not from their actual team. So that's being fixed, guys. So the major fixes were, you know, the drop in, the stability, losing connection at the end of the match. So those got fixed. We also got some gameplay update as well. Now these, there was a whole list on gameplay, but I think these were like pretty important for clubs as well. So the first one is, is increasing the ball travel distance on manual requested clearance. So pretty much if you had manual clearance, which you do that with RB and B, now the power is going to be more powerful when you do it. I personally use this. I never, didn't, I never noticed any issue, but that got fixed. And then they slightly increased the jockey turning speed when you're moving at a slower speed. Now, I've actually heard a lot of people have this issue where sometimes their pro felt sluggish when defending certain situations. The jockey fell too slow, so that got fixed for those people that had that issue. And then they slightly reduced the ball travel speed on ground and driven passes performed with players that had the ping pass, guys. This pretty much allowed the ball to travel really, really fast. You guys right now can see a clip. I have the ping pass on, and you guys will see how fast the ball would travel. So they pretty much reduce how fast the ball travels. So we're going to have to see once that update comes if it made a big difference but kind of sad because i personally used this ping pass play style so that got reduced a bit now guys another big news is the cpu would sometimes take a heavy touch right now you guys can see it in the screen they would take a heavy touch which sometimes could lead the opponents taking away the ball away from the bot and it could lead to a goal or just possession loss but that finally got fixed i know a lot of you guys were having issues with the cpu taking those heavy touches. I myself had that issue and it was very, very frustrating. So EA fixed that. Like I said, guys, we got to really see once the patch comes out on Monday and Tuesday, if those actually did get fixed because sometimes EA says that they fix certain things, but it's still in the game. Now, also guys, for the referees, they also improve the referee a little bit. When determining certain fouls, when you're shielding the ball, the referee logic got better with that. Another thing the referees got better as when determining an offside call in situations where defender to miss it an interception, they'll call that as an offside. So I guess the referee got better at that. I never noticed anything like that. They also improve the referee logic when determining foul calls in situations where players are jostling for the ball. The jostling pretty much means when you're abiding someone or shoving someone. So the referee got better at determining if it's a foul or not. Because sometimes when I would abody or push someone and they fall to the ground, sometimes they wouldn't call it. So referee might be a little bit more strict on that. We'll have to see. But boys and girls, that is I think some of the important things. I'm going to leave a link to the whole patch because it's a huge list for Ultimate Team. But those are pretty much all for pro clubs and some of the main important stuff of gameplay and CPU related to pro clubs. Remember, the patch is coming out Monday, October 16th on PC first and then October 17th for consoles. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you guys next time.